Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha, part four, the diesel motorcycle build. So uh, back on the Kubota uh, engine, the diesel engine here, the uh, three cylinder uh, engine. Uh, obviously still got it hooked up to the uh, BMW K75 gearbox. Uh, so I've rigged up a dummy or a fake radiator just to test the engine. So check out the other video for that. Um, but also uh, I've hooked up some fuel uh, as well. Uh, this is uh, had a dummy uh, fuel tank uh, made up. So check out that video as well. Uh, I'll put the link up there for you. Uh, but basically now it's about bleeding these lines uh, before I can actually uh, start the engine. So what you need to do, obviously you get your fuel pouring in and then you need to open up uh, your throttle valve as well there and then you've got various points that you can actually bleed the system. So bleed it here, just on the injector body here, just open that valve, uh, open it a little bit, uh, let the fuel come through and then all you need to do is just wait until the, you get a, a steady stream of fuel and then close off that valve, simple. Okay, the next thing to do is to make sure all these are tight anyway. Uh, these are your ejector lines to the injectors. Okay, you just need to loosen each one off. Okay, and once you've loosened them off, uh, just a little bit, don't have to take them completely off, just loosen them off a little bit, and then just pull off the top, uh, break the seal the, of the, the pipes to the injectors. And then what you're going to do, you're going to have to actually start, well, try and start the engine with a starter motor, just turn it over, and that's going to get the mechanical pump, the feed pump, put into the in uh, fuel into the injectors and the injector pump up the fuel lines, and then you're going to wait for fuel to actually start pouring out of these uh, and no air. Once soon as you, the air has stopped and you've just got a steady stream of fuel, then you lock these off one at a time. And so you need all three done at the same time. So it might take a few goes just to get all the air out of the system. Uh, so that's just one of those things you're going to have to do. You might even uh, you know, have to go through a couple of batteries, whatever. It really depends how quickly the process is for you. But that's essentially how you do it. You basically just bleed the lines, get a fuel uh, supply in, uh, get as much air as you can out of the lower part, whether you've got it going through filters, that kind of thing into the injector pump you're going to have to turn over the engine and once you turn over the engine the mechanical pump and the injector pump will pump up the fuel to uh, the injector nozzles and you just have to get the air out by undoing these uh, top bolts here and then uh, turn them off. They're all with a 17 mil spanner as well which uh, makes it easy as well. Right well uh, this will be the next job now just waiting for a uh, battery charger to arrive so I can charge my battery so I can fire this up and see if it works. That'll be the next video. Right, um, check out the website, revelatoralf.com. Check out all the links in the description, all the support pages, that'd be really good as well. And subscribe, that'd be really great. Right, catch you on the next video. Ta-da. Revelator Alf.